am Linda from Barletti's Body Blitz. Welcome to Feel Good Cardio Stretch. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat if you're working out on hard floor. I'm not wearing any footwear, you can if you prefer to. I'm not using any extra equipment, but if you want to, you can use some very light dumbbells, maybe just 500 grams to intensify some of the moves. We're going to move through a whole lot of flowing exercises that will have a dynamic stretch element to them. So they definitely feel good, but there will also be a bit of a heart rate element and a bit of a muscle burn. So let's get started with our feet slightly wider than our shoulder width. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flop down like a rag doll, then come up and reach down with long arms. So come down with a rounded spine, come up and then look down and reach one arm up, one arm down. So if you want to, you can roll through the heels here to absorb some of that tension and keep your knees nice and soft. You're reaching down, really stretching those fingertips up and down and opening up through the side body. Really breathing here loosening everything up, allowing the weight of your body to drive this motion. Four more like this, and up. Three more, and up. Two more. Last one, hold your tummies in here as well. Now I want you to separate your legs a little bit more, and we're going to come forward, and we're gonna open out. It's forward and open out. You can switch which hand is in front each time if you like. And again, we're just lifting our heels and we're slightly pulsing through the legs. I want you to imagine a swan flapping its wings. You're really rounding here and opening through the chest. Big motions. This one is already getting the heart rate up. Down and up down and up. A few more like this, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to come into a narrow squat position. We're going to come down and then we're going to step back and pull the shoulder blades together. Down and then other leg back. It's just a narrow lunge. I really want you to focus on keeping everything soft and back. It's down, I'm hinging forward slightly. I'm keeping the weight in the heel of the front leg and I'm really focusing on using my arms here. Squeezing my shoulder blades together and stepping back into that chair and into that lunge. A few more like this. And four, back, three, back, two, and last one, and back. We're going to twist through the waist, and I really want you to open up and twist through the body so that you're actually facing the side wall each time. Now, if it makes you a bit dizzy to look in the same direction, then just look straight ahead, but twist through the body. Start pointing your toes, stretching out, and maybe sink a little bit lower. <sighs> Breathing through it. All the way up with those arms, creating that nice circular motion that's gonna warm up through all of your shoulder and upper back joints. Down and up. It's the down and up that gets the heart rate up. So you definitely want to do that, sinking lower each time. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do the same sort of thing, but we're going to use both arms and it's almost like a chopping action. Chopping, chopping. So shift your hips slightly from side to side and come down almost like a figure eight with those arms. I've got a slight bend in my elbow, but my arms are quite straight, almost like blades. My fingertips are extended, and I'm really trying to twist through my waist, bending into it slightly. It should feel really good on your hips. Maybe even exaggerate that a little bit. Stick your hip out more. 
We're going to start picking up a knee with this and chopping across the knee. A few more like this. Go for four, three, two, one. So I want you to chop across the knee, chop across the knee. Just pick that up and then place it back down. Lower body is nice and relaxed, soft knees. And then really start sinking into it. Maybe lean lower. Make sure you absorb your weight in the heel as you place it down. A few more like this and we'll go to the other side. Eight, seven, tummy's in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna chop across the other side. So maybe just start with a much more shallow step down and get your arms and your waistline involved. Really remember that twist. Then once you have it, maybe sink lower. Create that resistance with those arms. Lifting that leg, squeezing those abs. So this, you can see, is the cardio factor happening right now. Come on, a few more like this. Down and up for the heart rate. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Come back into a plie position and we wanna go slightly wider this time. Make sure your feet are turned out so your toes are about 45 degrees. And we're going to start coming overhead then pulling down. Overhead and bringing your elbows into your waistline. Overhead and down. Overhead and down. We're going to start lifting through our feet, but if you're finding that too wobbly, you can either stick with your flat feet or maybe hold on with one hand. We're gonna change this to single arms. So we're gonna keep one up and bend, and bend. Bend and bend. Now I'm going to pick up the heel of the opposite foot. So you're coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. I want you to reach it. If you need to bring your feet in slightly, you can. Now bend low, bend into that waist. Feel that stretch in the opposite side. A few more like this, then we're going to go back to those doubles with the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So start off with just the arms and we're going to bring up our heels at the bottom. Heels at the bottom. So bring your elbows in, in in and you should feel your inner thighs engaging so this is the part where you might need to hold on a few more like this let's go single single double with the arms so it's single single double for two back to the single single bend into it single double for two two more sets like this stay upright for two Single, single, double for two. Nice job, side to side. Let's get all of that lactic acid out of the legs, pointing through the toe. Breathing. We're going to start picking up our legs side to side and slightly coming up on that opposite toe. Now maybe look towards the corner there. And if you don't want to lift up, you don't have to. But by looking towards the corner, you can get your leg up slightly higher and squeeze the glute. Breathe through it. Arms are floating, but still strong. Up and up. Are you going lower in the center? Low to high, remember. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go single, single, double, single, single, double. So you can hold on with one hand here if you prefer on that double, but I want you to try to get that leg up high. Single, single, double. Just float the arms. A few more like this. Single, single, double. Four more. Single, single, double. This is three. You're breathing now. Two. Up. And last. One. And up. Nice job. Just start bringing the heel in front and the arms are just slowly figure eighting, letting your heart rate come down again. Breathing through it. A few more like this. We're going to do a bit of a dynamic stretch move. Breathing. Breathing through it. Eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Coming with your legs nice and together, we're going to come down, then we're going to reach up and back, then we're going to come down and reach up and back. So arms are long, then slightly look back, keeping your legs nice and bent here. Up, and up, up, and up. Now we're going to add on a step back to this position here. And we're going to alternate legs. So go down and then step back. Go down, other leg back. Go down and then step back. See how I'm leaning and back. So it's up, slightly back. You don't have to be back too much. Slightly back, up, back, just stretching back ever so slightly with that lower back. Let's go for four more and back. Don't worry if you wobble and back. Last two and this is the last one and back. Nice job. We're going to stay in this lunge position and we're going to do a little bit more of a dynamic stretch. We're going to come up and then sweep it across. Up, sweep it across. Up, sweep it across. Up, sweep it across. So you're coming into a bit of a lunge with the back leg and you're keeping your arms like blades. Sweep it across. Up, sweep it across. A few more like this. Four and three and two and one nice job other leg in same thing it's up sweeping across up sweeping across so you're bend pressing the back leg keeping the weight in the heel of the front leg reaching long and then blowing out on the back and across if you're finding that it makes you wobble more looking up and down just pick a spot and look in front of you, maybe on the ground. And just move your arms for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a step and a knee pull. So we're going to knee pull, step back, knee pull, step back, step back, knee pull, step back. So now I want you to get that knee up higher and angle it slightly. Angle it so that you're kind of pointing your foot at 45 degrees. And this way you're going to get your obliques involved. You're reaching ahead of you as if it's a Superman flying move. And you're trying to keep your chest nice and level and just squeeze that elbow and knee past one another. In and back, in and back. 
So we're going to do a balance challenge move with this in a second, a few more of these. Then we're going to hold it and just move the arm and leg in and out, okay? So this is where you might need to hold on. Eight, seven, six, stay low. Five, four, three, two, and one. So now get your balance and you can tap down or you can float the leg in and back, in and back. Soft through the other leg, extend your arm to help you keep that balance. Try to keep your knee up. Eight, seven, six, pick a focal point. Five, tummies are in. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, we're doing the other side. So pull up, step back, pull up, step back, and back, and back. You can pull in with both arms if you prefer. Now angle that leg, angle it out. So imagine that you're trying to drive your knee up as if there's something in front of you and you're trying to knee it. Okay, violently. <laughs> Doesn't really go with the theme of this workout, so maybe not violently, <laughs> but with some control. Keeping both legs soft. Up, you're driving your elbow past your knee. Each time, twisting to the side. A few more like this, then we're gonna float that leg. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. So float the leg. You can either tap down or you can try and float it like me. The other arm is just there for balance. <sighs> Breathe, it's angled. I want your knee facing 45. I want you to really squeeze. <sighs> Blow out as your elbow and knee comes past each other. It's wobbly. You're using your entire core. Hold your tummy in. Try and bend the supporting leg a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's just sweep our legs in front, in front, in front. Sweep it and slightly lift again. Arms are just in opposition. So you're slightly lifting off, lifting off. It's like a little jump, but you don't need to jump. You can just lift off on the toe. Across. Are you sweating like me? Across. A few more like this, then we're gonna stay on one side and we're just gonna tap out and across. Four, three, two, one. So it's out and across, out and across. It's a step, step and across. Step, step and across. Step, step. <sighs> Sweeping the inner thigh across and across and across. Your arms are in opposition. <sighs> If you don't want to, then just tap like this. Out and tap. Much easier on the heart rate. Out and tap. Breathe. Graceful, but strong, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're floating it. Float it. If not, hold on with one hand. Try not to touch down. Out and across. Not quite as high. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Side to side. Side to side. <laughs> It's not as easy as it looks, right? Looks like nothing, but it's something. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one, it's out and across. Step, step and across and across. If you don't want to jump, just here. But then maybe sink a bit lower and rise a bit higher. This is working your calves really well as well and your inner thigh. Come on, heart rate is up. We've got a nice stretching one next. Eight, seven, six, five. Point your toe. And three, two, we're gonna float it next. One, can you float it? Ah, oh, this side's hard for me. Have to focus. Out and across, out and across, out and across. Breathe. Burning, burning, the supporting leg is burning, yes? Out and across. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> nice job. Okay, we're going to come into a down dog. So stretch it out. We're gonna come with our hands about shoulder width, our feet about shoulder width and just rise up and down through those toes. If you can get your heels to the mat, that's ideal. But if you can't, just come to your low point. We're gonna start stepping in front and coming back to down dog. Step in front, other side and down dog. You're looking in between your arms. Arms are nice and straight. In front, if you need to use yoga blocks for this, because you might have weak wrists or some sort of elevation, like maybe a step bench, a footstool, even a chair. And start to just breathe out. Back in down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's go for four more. And back. Three. And back. Two. Back. One. And back. Now I just want you to step forward with one side and we're going to hold that stretch for a bit. Maybe bring the knee down and allow your chest to come forward. And we're going to start incorporating another balance challenge with this. That hold here for a second, then come back up. Go forward and back. Forward and back. So the important thing here is that you've got your weight in the heel of the front leg and that it's a nice 90 degree angle from knee to your ankle, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna lift up and we're gonna come down. And we're gonna lift up and we're gonna come down. Once again, if this is too challenging for you, get yourself a chair and hold on here. And we're gonna come down. We're gonna lift up. We're gonna come down. We're gonna do a few more knees and then we're going to extend the leg and we're gonna try and float that and down. Let's go for four and down. Big runner's lunge at the bottom. Two, extend the leg back and one, come down. Now come up and float the leg and float the leg and knee, come down. Float, float, knee and down. Float it, float it, then knee, then down. Are you feeling your supporting leg? And float. You need to bend into this. Bend into it, bending forward on the back, okay? And squeeze your glute there. Forward, squeeze your glute, knee, and down. Two more. Forward, and back, knee, and down. This is the last one and back, knee, and down. We're switching it up. Come into the down dog, roll through the feet, and we're gonna bring the other leg to the front. So step it through, and just roll through that toe for a bit. Make sure you're really nicely lined up, come down on the knee, press your weight forward, stretch that out. Heart rate down a little bit. I can't believe how much 
This is making me puff and sweat because I'm talking all the way through it. So this is not an easy workout. Now we're going to come in and just bring the knee up and then tap down. Knee up, tap down. You always have a weaker side for balance. Okay, it's just natural. This is my weaker side. So I'm wobbling a lot more. I have to focus more. Back leg is long. It's up, it's extend. It's up, it's extend. Hold your tummy in as you come up. That is really going to help you to balance. We're gonna do five more of these. Then we're gonna do that extension and back. Three more, two more, one. Now, it's a float, it's a float, it's a knee, it's a down. It's a float, float, knee, and down. Squeeze your glute at the back. Oh no, and don't look around the room like I am because that is gonna make you wobble. Float, float, knee, and down. Float, float, knee, and down. Keep extending the back leg long. Knee, and down. Float, float, knee, and down. Let's go for four more. Float, knee, down. Three more. Bend forward, it will help you. Two more, knee and down. Last one, knee and down. Okay, that was not easy at all. We're gonna do a bit more static stretching. So I want you to come down and with as much straightness in your legs as you can, fingertips down or to your low point. Down and up. Squeeze your glutes on the up. Stretching out through the hamstrings. A few more like this. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now I want you to come down. And if you can, hold on to the one leg. Keep it wide and bring your body down as close as you can. And then start bending and extending the opposite leg. So as much as you can, just hold on to that leg. Wherever you're at, if you're up here, stay up here. If you're down here, then hold on and bend away long. You're bending away long. So you're feeling that work in the supporting leg and the stretch in the bending leg. Four, three, two, and one. You're coming up again, and we're gonna come back to that down and up down and up and then go to the other side down and up down and up for four three two one and now just hold on to that side and really try to widen your stance and it's bend and extend bend and extend really try to stretch through that inner thigh Feeling that entire side, the hamstring as well, stretching and extend. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to come down into a child's pose. Sink your glutes down and just push your armpits towards that mat. Deep breaths here. And then just walk yourself into an all fours position and round up through that spine, really creating a C curve here, rounding the spine, <sighs> opening through the shoulder blades and then just release and look up. And again, <sighs> all the air out and just round up. And come down and now just sit down on your bottom and we're going to do 
a few exercises to just lengthen everything out again. So it's out and then across, out and across, out and across. Your legs don't have to be too far apart here. You're really just keeping your back nice and straight and across, all the way out. Try to reach as far as you can for four and three and two and one. Now I just want to do a little bit of sweeping. This is also great for the abs. So you're sweeping around and then sweeping and picking up your leg. Across, across. If this is too hard, then bend your leg here, okay? Bend. Four, three, really twist to the back. Two, and one. We're doing the same thing to the other side. Up, up. Really nice through that body, just floating that leg, floating, feeling your waistline ringing out. Four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna come in and out with that leg and those arms. So you're blowing the air out, bringing that knee in. So it's like a crunch with a chest expansion. In, expand. If you're finding this too hard, then maybe just sit up here or maybe just bring the knee up a little bit here, okay? because we're trying to involve the lower abs as well as our upper abs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Before we go to the other side, we'll give our upper body a little break and we're just gonna bring our toes in, turn out diamonds and I just wanna extend and bend, extend and bend. You'll feel a little bit of hip flexor here. So you should still feel a little bit of upper abs engagement here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then set yourself up again and we're doing that same sweeping action, but this time with the back leg. Now if you want to, come up overhead. That makes it even tougher. If not, then stay down here. In and out, in and out. The further back you go, the harder it's gonna be. In and out. You really wanna crunch that knee in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. Lying down, I just want to rotate a little bit through that spine, come in the center and then to the side. Center and then side. Just a little bit, rotating through that spine sideways and side, and side. Hold your tummy in, go for four, three, two, one, now come all the way down. If you can, try to keep your shoulders on the mat. Extend the top leg if you like. Deep breath in. If you can't come all the way down, maybe just here. Just wherever you can feel your spine rotating. Holding those shoulders flat. And then we're going to just come up into the center, switch that up and go to the other side. Again, shoulders are on the mat. Only drop as low as you can to keep those shoulders flat. Then come to the center and hold on behind the knees. Then we're gonna rotate up and down a few times just to loosen through that spine. And up. And up. 
And we're going to put one hand behind. You can face your fingertips away or this, this way. I like to face them away from me. And we're going to come up and over and just push our hips up and really open through the side body. Then come down and switch the other hand. Same thing. Up and over. And down. And then just sit in front. We didn't really do any intense arm work, so we're just going to stretch up and side and side a little bit. Side and side. And then out. And then behind, interlace. And just pull that up and lean forward. Opening through the chest. And then finally, just on, hand onto the knee, look to the back, and other side. And for the glutes, lean forward. Switch the leg in front, and lean forward. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Feel Good Cardio Stretch. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you at the next segment.